Hello Aries, this is your daily read for August 23rd. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's see what Spirit has for you today. Alright Spirit, what lovely messages do you have for my Aries babies for today? We have the Queen of Swords popping out, we have the Page of Cups, and we have the Six of Swords. Interesting. So there could be an, an air sign that is of interest, which would be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This could also be you cutting to your own truth with heart. Okay? So with the Page of Cups, there could be an apology coming in or... Um, you're contemplating an apology. Either you're trying to put it out there. I feel like it's you trying to put it out there simply because the Six of Swords is about you moving to calmer waters. I feel like that there's a situation that you want to make right. We have the Nine of Wands. Even though you're kind of defensive about this, you're like, I need to make this right. There's something that I did wrong and I need to make it right. Maybe there was a conversation that you had and you didn't mean the things that you say. We have the star popping out. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You don't have to be. But this is going to be very healing for you in order to open up certain things. In order to open up a pathway for yourself. It's almost like I need to resolve this conflict in order to move on. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is you kind of being... Um, not wanting to be vulnerable. You're looking to see if this is going to be worth it for you. But I feel like that this is something that's pressing you. It's not that you necessarily want to do this because I don't think that you want to. I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, you're trying to find everything wrong with it. You're like, I don't want to have to retract my words. I don't want to have to retract my actions. You know, is this going to be worth it for me to do? I feel like that this is what something that you need to do, though, in order to make something right. So if there's something that you did that you um, you feel you had acted a different way, or if you said something that you shouldn't have said, or, you know, something along those lines, you are wanting to make it right now. So it's like, I want, I need to heal from this. I need to unlock these doors in order to let other things flow abundantly in my life. We do have the Ten of Swords. You are fighting this. Like, you are fighting this within yourself. You're absolutely fighting this. You're like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to have to do this. But you know that there are certain components in life that you have to do in order to unlock certain things. And sometimes we are our own worst enemy when it comes to locking our own doors. Like, have you ever... Um, did something you're not supposed to do and you felt regretful for it and it just seemed like everything around you went wrong because of what you did. And then when you made it right, it's like everything went back to being right, you know? And so I feel like that that's what you are facing. This is what you need to do. So with the Ten of Swords, you're kind of trying to fight it. With the Nine of Pentacles, you're trying to look out for yourself. You're trying to feel grounded. You're trying to be in your own light of stability. This is a wish fulfillment card here, though. It's like you know that there's a little bit more work that you need to do in order for prosperity and abundance to come to you fully. It's like it's coming to you good now, but it could be coming to you great once you face what you need to face. We have the world. Your world is changing. The world is unlocking for you. So this is the the this is the um, card of completion. Like everything that you manifested, everything that you've been working for is coming into your world now. The cycle is ending. The cycle that you have been fighting so hard to have is ending. It's like you just have one more thing to do. And that's what's so difficult for you to, you know, understand. We have the lover's card. You could be dealing with the Gemini. You don't have to be. But the lover's card, you know, you have a really strong love connection towards a, this person that you need to make amends with. You have a really strong love connection and it's time that you actually saw that 
Um, this does not have to be a love interest per se. This could be a family member, a friend, you know, just somebody that you're trying to make amends with. And you have the Ace of Pentacles. Once you face this person and once you handle things the way you need to handle them, your prosperity and abundance is going to open back up. And you're going to have a brand new beginning. So there's that foundation of, you know, things are going to start flowing for me again. Things, you know, monetarily, abundantly. Um, me trying to, uh, you know, have my stability, have my strength, you know. I feel like that this is you having that brand new beginning of things being solid again. We have the Five of Swords. You know, you're feeling a little bit indifferent because you're stepping out of a comfort zone. And so you're like, who's going to show up for me as I'm going through this fight? You know, um, we also have the Four of Pentacles. You know, you're going to go back and forth with this. I'm going to hold my own ground. I'm going to hold my own ground. I can see you being a little bit stubborn here. We have the Hierophant, you know, popping out. You could be dealing with the Taurus. Don't have to be. But the Hierophant is popping out to where, you know, you're trying to learn your lessons, but you're trying to hold your ground and your structure as well. And so there is a sense of you, you know, kind of holding back your power a little bit of I'm not going to hand you all my power. It's like I'm I'm just going to take baby steps towards doing the right thing when it comes to a certain situation. So we do have the Queen of Cups. So you could be looking towards, you know, um, I want to say falling in love. You definitely could be looking towards falling in love with this person. Maybe you do see them, mar you know, you have marriage on the brain, you know, of I could marry this person. Like, this person is so full of love, I could marry this person. I mean, we did have the lover's card coming out, you know, right there. So, I feel like that you could be trying to hold back a little bit on falling in love with this person. But... It's in the cards. <laughs> so, I mean, it is. It's in the cards. And we have the four of cups. You're, you're trying to hold back your emotion. You know, it's like now that I've got, now that I've gotten things right, you know, you could be fighting your true emotion a little bit. But at the same time, we have the sun and the sun overpowers everything. So you're on the path to your happiness. You're on the path to your happiness. All right, spirit. What energies are around my Aries babies? What energies are around my Aries babies? We have Sagittarius. We have Libra. We have Virgo. We have Leo. Bottom deck energy is water, which is Pisces. Uh, Scorpio and Cancers. So that's what I have for you today, Aries. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.